Hello, everybody. Welcome to the screencast. Today, we're talking about function rules and creating our own function rules to help us come up with answers for problems on function tables. Starting out with this particular problem, it states to use words and symbols to describe the value of each term as a function of a degree of and find the value of the tenth term. Some people looked at this initially today and like, oh, well, we haven't seen one of these. I'll show you what this really is. This really is a function table. We showed function tables yesterday. That is just set on its side. Here's the x's. You'll notice uh, what I sport. That takes the place of the position. And then the values are the is the y. So if you're used to looking at a function table this way. There we go. That looks very familiar. We played around very, very lightly yesterday with creating our own functions. But today, our function rule for this one, I'm noticing that each time I look at the integral of these numbers, it's going up three. Up three, up three. However, if I just said that well, the function rule for this is add 3 to x. That's not going to get me to, well, the 10th term. I'm going to have to do some really long math for that. So instead, what I noticed since it went up 3, I'm thinking that if I multiply by 3, that will also get me to move 3, 3, and 3 places. Now, if I said, all right, well, let's just say 3 times x is our function rule, it didn't work. Here, 1, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 3 is 12. So that function rule works perfectly. Excellent. Well, this was fun in class today. Here are a set of data. And I see, this is more like a chart that I'm used to seeing. I see x over here, which means this is our y. And I see a relationship is 1 to 5, 2 to 7, 3 to 6. Um, let's start ruling some things out. If I just said, all right, x plus 4, because 1 plus 4 is 5, I guess we have 5, but then would... 2 plus 4 work? No, that wouldn't work. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's see, what else? I do notice that back here, these are going up by twos. 5 to 7 is 2, 7 to 9 is 2. That keys me in that I bet you this might be some sort of multiple above 2. I could say 2 times x. If I say 2 times 1 equals 5, people would say, you know, you're a little crazy. 2 times 1 is 2. But what if I added this to the end and said, okay, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. It worked for the first line. How about the second? 2 times 2 plus 3. Hey, that equals 7. It worked for this line, too. And also, let's see, 2 times 3, we're substituting a 3, that's our x right here, is 6 plus 3 equals 9. So we could say it worked. That's our function rule. 2x plus 3 will take any number I put in x and tell me the right number for y. So it's saying, uh, let's say, this person works 10 hours. How many necklaces? Well, let's just plug in a 10 over here. 2 times 10 plus 3 would be 23. Ladies and gentlemen, that's barely scraping the surface, but a good start on how to create your own function rules. We're going to be going over again this in class tomorrow. Just to make sure we're square. This is, might be one of the harder things that we do in class. 
uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, function rules, and that is the maths you should know.